Hello all. I'm really excited to unveil our firmware analysis labs on attack defense. So you'll actually see if you log in today that we have a bunch of new additions tagged with firmware router. Let's click on the network backdoor too. So this is an example of firmware analysis and uncovering a backdoor which an attacker may have packaged within the firmware. So if you read through the lab description, you'll actually see that the admin suspects there is a backdoor uh, with a custom domain and your mission is to locate that binary which is responsible for the backdoor and find the domain subdomain it is communicating with, right? Finally, some idea about what data the binary could be sending. Now, the important thing is you are allowed to use GDB for static analysis, right? So this is a static analysis lab, not a dynamic analysis one. So let's start the lab. Let's give it some time. Actually, a little secret, <laughs> the lab might already be up. We just basically allow it a little bit of gestation time to make sure uh, that you know the network connectivity and all that has kind of come up, right? So you really don't need 25 seconds. This is the maximum we hope to need. Okay, so let's open up the lab. Great, let me increase the font size with control plus just like you would in a browser, getting old. <laughs> and we have firmware.bin in the same directory. So I'm going to run binwalk, so we've already packaged binwalk on firmware.bin and this gives us an idea of how the firmware looks like. Specifically what is immediately of you know interest is the fact that we see a squashfs file system has been packaged inside the firmware, right? So this is indicative that you have a full-blown Linux system and I'm going to go ahead and extract that using the dash e option of binwalk. We have a couple of videos on Pentester Academy on firmware analysis, which you can take a look at if you're new to this. So here is the extracted firmware. We have the squashfs root directory, and this ends up containing the extracted file system from the firmware. Now, how do you go about uncovering the network backdoor and which script it is initialized and all of that stuff is something I'm going to leave to you as an adventure. Right, <laughs> I do not want to go ahead and show you the whole solution. I just want to touch upon how you could actually end up using GDB for static analysis in this lab. So I'm going to go inside the user bin directory. I'm going to pretend that I have located uh, the binary after doing all of that analysis. And the binary file is web helper, and this is actually the backdoor binary. So now I'm going to run GDB multi arc on web helper and guys I mean I always get excited all of this is in the browser right keep that in mind right this isn't your local computer look at the sheer amount of flexibility you have right now so once we are inside GDB uh, of course you can do all your regular disassembly and all that stuff and which is really what you want you to kind of look at uh, and then with a little bit of understanding of MIPS assembly, which ideally you would have to do if you know firmware analysis, then you would be able to uncover what is happening. Now this is a static lab. Uh, you will not be able to execute anything in it. We are going to have dynamic analysis labs very, very soon. We are working on it. Uh, the key challenge in those things, of course, is to provide a safe environment for everybody because the moment you end up giving dynamic analysis access, uh, there is a possibility that, you know, uh, students or you know whoever may end up inadvertently corrupting other people's processes. So if you're looking into it, little hint, I'd love to leave you with a little hint. <laughs> so if you go ahead and do an info variables, you might end up seeing some variables defined here, which can give you some clue on what is happening. And then to figure out what is actually being sent, etc., you'll have to look at disassembly, right? Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed the lab. Uh, and you can clearly see we've made much progress in taking these labs to the next level. Our team is working really, really hard. So keep checking us out. In the next one to three months, you're going to see 
really crazy stuff, you know, which we are already working on, but it'll be released publicly at that time. Thank you. Have a great day.